never doing a day in the life of Cole Sweeney. So what I do for in the morning is I always leave the shirt I'm going to wear right up front and the uh, pants or shorts or whatever that I'm going to wear. So I'm going to wear these jeans and this shirt and I always keep my favorite pair of shoes right um, out of the closet near my door so I can wear that. So it's, let's see, and boom, outfit. The shirt I'm wearing says stop for white canes and I thought that was fitting for today's little adventure in the day of the life of Cole Sweeney. Before we begin, I would just like to talk about my cane for a second. Now, I have a trifold cane because I am short. So, for someone that's taller, they may have a fourfold or even a fivefold um, segmented cane, which is great that they take height into consideration. I've already unfolded it because I uh, need two hands to do it. Just that's just me personally. Um, and so, this is um, my orange uh, handled cane. And if you look, my cane tip, which is a marshmallow roller tip, um, is orange. And if you have noticed, my outfit, I'm wearing a orange shirt. And it says, um, stop for white canes. So I just thought I would briefly touch on that for a second. And I also have some keychains. Um, clipped on to my cane just kind of to, to like accessorize and fashionize the uh, item. So today I thought I would show you guys how to use a white cane. So let's do that. So I just unfolded my cane as you guys saw. this demonstration, I'm going to be starting with my left foot forward. So since I'm starting with my left foot forward, my cane is to my right. So then when I step with my right, then um, my cane would go to the left. So it's currently at my right side. So now I'm going to step right and it goes left. So it's kind of like a, like a pad. So every morning, evening and night, well, I, I always check blackboard first thing every morning. So as you can see, um, I, I clicked on the activity now. As for this class, video lectures, okay? Um, and then it displays what it is. So as you can see, the text is very, very small. So I'm just going to... Turn on my voiceover. I just wanted to let everyone know that I have posted video lectures in module four and five. The lecture on social history also discusses your personal long history assignment at the end of the lecture and gives some places you can find examples. As always, please feel free to reach out to me with any additional questions or concerns. Your personal long history is due by 9 27. Mary Hope, critical line one out, video lectures. Back arrow, hit default, button, back, back, button. So Loading this success. is just one example of how I use my iPad and um, accessibility features to make the best of my college experience and truly make life easier for myself. Now let's move on to laptop. Um, I currently have the Zoom feature enabled, which um, usually I I pull my computer closer to my face. I should probably just zoom it in, but um, I did have to zoom it out a tad bit so I could show you guys um, how I use my uh, computer with uh, applications such as Microsoft Word or, or what have you. So, you know, it displays the time, battery, all of that good stuff. And then we get down to the dog. Yes, word, okay. And um, so I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek as to how I use my um, my uh, computer. Now it is zoomed out so I can show you the title page. So this is my title page for my assignment that I did yesterday for my juvenile delinquency class. And I might, uh, I'll just give you a little a little sneak as to the paper. Now, this is what I do when I type. I zoom all the way in. Um, as much as it'll go like this. And then this is how I type. So, it is a great feature that Microsoft Word has. 
Also, um, there is a dictate button, which is basically um, speech to text, which is very helpful. And there's also an option to have it read to you. Um, oh, what tab is it under? Um, yes, it's, it's under review and it's read aloud. So these are just some of the few little features that I use to make writing documents and etc much easier for myself. Another tool that I utilize is this um, Amazon Alexa. And if I say, Alexa, what's the weather for today? Right now in Bethlehem, it's 58 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Throughout the day, you can expect more of the same, with a high of 63 degrees and a low of 38 degrees. She will let me know what the weather is, and it's very, very helpful for planning outfits. And you can do all of the features with this device through um, voice by speaking to it, and it is truly a wonderful piece of technology. One of the things I like to do in my spare time is play Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, how, how do you play video games if you're visually impaired? Well, thankfully a lot of the console systems such as PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch have Zoom features, which is what I'm using right now. Um, I typically play it on my TV, but for the purpose of this video, um, I'm just doing it in its handheld mode. Um, so with Zoom, you can just press the home button, which is right here, and then you can simply just move it across the screen, which is very, very helpful to adjust. And, um, yeah. I took it off Zoom just so I could show you the startup screen because I love, love, love this game. And I just love the happy, happy music. So Animal Crossing is kind of one of those games that you play every day, which is great. Um, so it's loading, and then um, it's going to start with this lovely little gal named Isabel from Resident Services and she'll tell us about our day and she says hello there everyone right now on Ohana Bay which is the name of my island now a little preface for the reason I named my island Ohana Bay Ohana means family in Hawaiian and I just I just thought that was a truly wonderful name for my island because on my island we love we love everyone so um and she's telling us the time and all of that wonderful stuff she has no news to share yes and she says to give this week our all thank you Isabel and now Here's a little sneak peek at my island and my character, and um, I'm wearing a fedora, sunglasses, a face mask because it's 2020, a wetsuit with leaf prints, and then some socks and shoes.